Uh, what's going on guys, Tack back here for another video. Uh, in today's video I wanted to talk about the new uh, Shadows of Evil tr uh, Zombies trailer that was actually released at San Diego Comic Con not too long ago. Um, and I'd like to say right now that the this map actually does not look like any other map that we've had so far made by Treyarch. Usually the maps by Treyarch are like d uh, dark and gloomy, but this one actually looks pr like colorful, happy, and exciting. Um, but anyways, this map actually takes place in 1940s Chicago, and that's actually a, a pretty cool time to be in, and it's actually right after Mob of the Dead, is which uh, I believe Treyarch mentioned as at the Comic-Con. Um, but right here, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and ideas about this map. Um, I watched the video a couple times, kind of got a feel for it. Um, so here, here in the tra here in the new Black Ops 3 map, we obviously have a new star-studded ca cast playing instead of the normal four characters that we're used to. Um, but here we have Jeff Goldblum, Heather Graham, Neil McDonald, and Ron Perlman um, playing the four new characters, and their names are Nero, who is the magician, Jessica, which is the flapper uh, dancer, then you have Vincent, the uh, corrupted cop. And then you got Campbell, this uh, this um, this wrestler, and then you got Robert Picardo who plays the Shadow Man, kind of like the narrator who uh, announces all the drops and that kind of stuff. Um, but as you play through the video, you you see that uh, each every four character has its flaws, and or that is what it said, and uh, you can see that each of them um, are bad people in their own way. Yeah, uh, we we can see in the video that uh, that Jessica, the dancer, obviously ties up her victims to a bed and kind of seduces them in a way, and then murders them with uh, a pair of scissors on the desk. Um, Vincent is the uh, corrupted cop who actually will uh, do bad things with his victims, do like a like a drug deal or a money trade, and then end up shooting them uh, doing that. And then we got Campbell, the wrestler, who actually, uh, who is a boxer, and when when he fights, uh, he actually puts on these brass knuckles that not only you know just defeats his opponent, but actually also kills him in a way. Um, now also, as the uh, as the trailer goes on, we get to see these gumball machines, which are which were very interesting, and I thought beforehand. When we, uh, when I first saw this, I, I thought these were, were going to be the new perk machines, but that does not seem to be the case. Uh, these gumballs do not have the same type of logos as the original perks do. Um, these actually have different uh, types of abilities, in my opinion, from from what's going on in the trailer. Um, and as you can see, probably when he, probably when you eat one of these uh, gumballs, I guess they give you different abilities. Such as uh, during the trailer, they showed Vincent, the uh, the corrupted cop, standing in the middle of a alleyway, and the zombies were just running right past him, not even knowing he was there. Just kind of like the zombie blood from Origins. And uh, also, we we have another one. Um, Another gumball, which I believe gives you those tentacle arms that you saw earlier in the trailer, and uh, those they might have. Uh, they're they're probably all time limited, or maybe you can activate them at a certain time. No one knows. Um, but as far as story uh, story wise go, or Easter egg, I'm sure that the Shadow Man's gonna have some big role going on. He's not just gonna be the narrator. Because uh, he did mention that he has seen all of these four characters do evil things, and uh, and he knows that they're all corrupted in their own way. Um, but this final beast, this three-headed demon, what the hell is this? I did not expect them to add uh, you know aliens to uh, to zombies. I was just I was I did not see that coming. Not not only does it have just three heads but there's also these flying guys too kind of like from uh, Call of Duty Ghosts with the uh, the flying aliens there now I got, I got no idea what's going on there with the aliens it's a pretty cool idea I mean it's terrifying to see the three-headed beast charging at you it's like if you mix the Panzer Soldat 
Brutus and George Romero all together, you got three heads right there. Um, but yeah, so as Easter egg goes, I'm not sure uh, what what's going to happen or how, how the storyline is going to elaborate. Maybe there, there probably there probably will be more more maps on uh, on this, and uh, from from what it looks like, it looks like it's going to be a really cool map. So, if you enjoyed the video and uh, like what I do, slap that subscribe button. And uh, if you have any uh, thoughts on what you think is going to happen in this storyline, or comment your new favorite Black Ops 3 Zombies character down below, I'd, I'd really appreciate and like to see what you guys think. And uh, yeah, if you uh, if you want to hit that like button, that really helps out. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.